Hello, everybody, and welcome to another summer story time. My name is Miss Jessica. Thank you for joining me. Uh, before we get started, I just want to remind everybody that you can go to Read Squared and you can enter this program as points for your summer reading club. So you can earn 30 points for participating in this program today. Uh, the word of the day is train. Okay, so go to Read Squared and enter in that code and it will give you 30 points towards your summer reading score. Okay, so don't forget to do that. Let's jump right into our story time today. All right, so we are going to wake up our hands and then we're gonna wake up our feet. And then we are going to wake up our ears so we can listen to a story today. All righty, show me your hand. Ooh, wiggle those fingers. Okay, here we go. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up hands and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Great, let's move down to our feet. I know you can't see my feet, but I promise you they're wiggling down there. Okay, here we go. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up and wiggle in the morning. And lastly, let's wake up our ears right here, okay? Wake up ears, wake up ears, wake up ears and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up ears, wake up ears, wake up and wiggle in the morning. <laughs> Great job. All righty, let's go ahead. We're going to move straight on to our book today. So do you remember what the word of the day was? beginning. I might give you a little hint as to what we're going to do today. Alrighty. So what was that word? It was train, right? Choo choo. <laughs> Alright, but you also probably know that the summer reading club this year is Tales and Tales. Okay, so that's all about animals. So we've got some animals in this book and we have some trains. Okay. It's called Snakes on a Train. <laughs> so we have our animal, the snake, and we have a train, choo-choo. <laughs> uh, this is by Katherine Dennis, and it is being read with permission from Macmillan Publishing Group. <clears throat> so look at all these snakes. And you got the conductor of the train right here. He's also a snake. <clears throat> Let's see what this book is all about. <clears throat> Oh, I can turn the pages. Here we go. <laughs> Look at all these snakes. You can see their little tongues down there. <laughs> They're smelling. Did you know that snakes actually smell with their tongues? Weird, huh? All right. The conductor takes the tickets. That's this guy. He's got a hat. That's how you can tell. As the snakes slither on slithering on that train. <laughs> the tracks are checked. There they go. You can see this little white snake. He's making sure the tracks are okay. And the whistle blows. Doot! It's time to move along. Hiss goes the sound of the train. The train leaves the station as the gears begin to grind. What are those snakes doing? Hmm? Looks like one of them, or two of them, they're sharing some ice cream. Hmm? And the one next to them looks like he's reading a book. <laughs> the switcher pulls the handle and the cars slide down the line. Hiss goes the sound of the train. The brake snake stops the train. There's trouble on the back. What is that? <laughs> it looks like a pig. Why is there a pig on the train track? I don't know. 
the flagger waves the signal flag and the train stays on the track. Hiss goes the sound of the train. I guess they figured out the pig. The train is in a tunnel. It's dark as night inside. It's a brave conductor. Look at these eyes. <laughs> They're all in the tunnel. <laughs> Hiss goes the sound of the train. The train races down the hill as the snakes pretend to fly. <laughs> Have you ever been going so fast in a car or a train that it feels like you're flying? A view from high as the fish swim by. Hiss goes the sound of the train. Look, did you see this? Over here in the corner, there's that pig. See him? <laughs> so this is snakes on a train plus one pig. The day is coming to an end. It's time for snakes to find their dens. Have you ever thought about where snakes live before? They don't live in a house, you know, with like a roof. They live in dens, so they live in holes in the ground, most of them. Just like these guys, see? <laughs> As snakes slither off to sleep, The train rests for the night. Snore. <laughs> Snakes wrap themselves in little balls and tuck their tails in tight. You wrap yourself in a little ball. And shh goes the sound of the train. Sounds like a pretty fun day, doesn't it? Just going on a train ride with all your snake buddies. I would totally do that. <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> for our next thing that we're gonna do, we are going to pull out a felt board. So here we go. Okie dokie, we are ready to start our felt board. Ta -da! Today we are going to be doing a little rhyme about a train, okay? So it starts like this, it says, clickety clack, clickety clack, here comes the train on the railroad track. Clickety clun, clickety clun, here comes the engine car number one. Then we have clickety clue, clickety clue, here comes the coal car number two. What do you think the coal car carries? <laughs> coal, huh? <laughs> and then we have clickety clee, clickety clee. Here comes the box car number three. Do you guys know any famous books that might have box cars in them? What about the box car children, right? So in the boxcar children, they all live in one of those craziness. And we have clickety clor, clickety clor. Here comes the tank car. Number four. The tank car carries like gasoline or other kinds of liquids, like the stuff that your mom and dad put in their car to make it go. This car, it takes it, it takes it over, all over the place, okay? And then we have clickety clive, clickety clive. Here comes the coach car, number five. The coach car is what was in our book. This kind of car. It's the kind of car that carries people or snakes. So if you ever went on a train, you'd be in the coach car. And then we have clickety clicks, clickety clicks. Here comes the caboose, number six. So the caboose is the last train, or the last car in the whole train. It's the one that's in the very back. That's why we call it the caboose. <laughs> so we got clickety clack, clickety clack. There goes the train on the railroad track. Goodbye. Here it goes. First we got our engine, 
and then we got our coal car and then we have our box car and then we have our tank car Boop. and then we've got our coach car and then last but not least chugga 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 choo choo we got our caboose <laughs> And that's the end, but let's go through it one more time just for fun, okay? Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here comes the train on the railroad track. Clickety clun, clickety clun. Here comes the engine car, number one. Clickety clue, clickety clue. Here comes the coal car, number two. And we got clickety clee, clickety clee. Here comes the box car, number three. Clickety clore, clickety clore. Here comes the tank car, number four. Clickety clive, clickety clive. Here comes the coach car, number five. And last but not least, Clickety clicks, clickety clicks. Here comes the caboose, number six. So how many cars did we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six cars in our line here. So clickety clack, clickety clack. There goes the train on the railroad track. Say goodbye. Poof, engine car. Doom, 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 doom. Coal car, the box car, there he goes, wee. <laughs> and then we have our tank car, woo. And our coach car, woo. And lastly, our caboose, chugga, 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 choo, choo. Wee. There he goes. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for our felt board. And I've just got a couple more things I wanna let you know before we go. Alrighty, friends, thank you so much for joining me for this story time today. I just wanted to go over quickly what you can come to the library and grab. So we're going to be having these little snake story time uh, packets for you. And in those packets, you're going to find this. So this, is, this has the rhyme that we used for the felt board on it. It also has a little description of the, what you're gonna find in here and some other books in case you really like snakes or trains okay so one of the activities you're gonna find is this train shape matching game so it's gonna come with this train and it's going to come with all different kinds of shapes that you see on this train so the idea is that you are going to take all these shapes and you're gonna match it up wherever it goes on this train okay so this green rectangle maybe find a green rectangle on here and you're just gonna boop, slip it right on top if I do this it won't stay oh. so you're gonna <laughs> make sure you're doing it on a table obviously and then you can put all the shapes on the train and make sure they match up really nice okay so that's the first activity and the second activity is for uh, kids who are maybe a little bit older and it is a snake finger puppet okay um, and we actually will have two of them in there so the first one uh, that has the instructions on it this is when I messed up <laughs> it will be printed on a sheet of paper that has like a fun design on it so this snake will already have a fun pattern to him all you have to do is cut him out all right and then let me show you my finished snake. Here he is. So the first step is when you cut out his head, it's gonna look like this on the side. So you wanna take the front side of his head and fold it on top and then tape it there. That way it gives you this, this cool little head shape. And the second thing is you'll have these little tabs and you're going to fit them around your finger. So this is what it ends up looking like. Okay, you're all done. And then you can take his tail and you can wrap it around your arm and then you got yourself a little snake friend. Best buddies, yeah. Maybe you can go on a train together. I don't know. 
So the first one, like I said, will have a fun uh, pattern on the back. And then the second one in there, you get to color in yourself. So that's why there's two. <laughs> Alrighty. I believe that is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you again sometime soon. Alrighty. Have a great rest of your summer guys. Bye.